Hey, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today we're going to show you how to change the battery on a Dell Latitude E7470 laptop. This is the battery that we'll be using. It's a Type J60J5. This is one of the new internal batteries that a lot of the new laptops are using. Very thin, but it does require that you take the laptop apart in order to replace it. Now the assembly consists of the battery plus a cable. The cable part is a type AAZ60. You should be able to reuse the cable that was previously on the battery that you're replacing. But just in case you needed to replace the ba uh, battery cable, that's the type number you're looking for. Okay, we're going to start with this Dell Latitude E7470 laptop. We're going to flip it over. We have to take the bottom off. There are several screws. They're Phillips head screws. We use a number one Phillips screwdriver. You got to take those screws off in order to get inside the laptop. Again, a lot of the new designs have went to internal batteries. The very slim lithium ion battery. Um, but by doing that, in order to keep the laptop slim, um, it does require that if you change the battery, you get to take the bottom of the, the laptop off. So by using your Phillips screwdriver, you undo the several screws around the perimeter. And then you, well, flatbed screwdriver is the easiest way. You kind of pry and get, once you start it, it'll just pop off. Don't force it because if you've got all the screws uh, off, that bottom plate will just come right off in your hand. There's the battery, and um, there are a couple of screws that hold that in. One there on, on the right-hand side, we're going to take off, and then another one there on the left-hand side. Now, once we get um, the screws off that hold that battery in, it'll just pop right up you get it up in your hand now it the battery is connected to the motherboard at this point by the cable the cable is routed through a little runway on the back of the battery and plugged into the motherboard so at this point you um, just pull up on this connector there's a couple of tabs on there that get them in each of your fingers and you pull straight up gently and it comes right off the board you see that's the pull tabs i'm holding on to there okay you got the battery out now the process is to replace that battery with one that's good i'm going to just put the same one back in because it happens to be good but if you're going to do that you would take this uh, cable off the old battery and now assuming that cable was okay you, you reuse it. Typically, it's not the cable that's a problem, but it can be. So you might want to look it over. Just make sure there's nothing obvious, any cuts or dings in it. Press the connector straight in on the back of the battery. Then reroute the cable through the little channel on the bottom of the battery. That'll then allow you to seat the battery back in the laptop properly. Take that cable and put it onto the connector on the motherboard. Just push it straight on. Line it up and push it and it snaps right in place. That simple. Okay, now there's the two screws that hold the battery in. You've got to replace them. And once you've got those two screws replaced, you can now put the back cover on and reassemble the several screws that hold the cover. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and put this on. What you might want to do prior to putting this cover on, you could turn the laptop over and power it on and make sure that battery works 
that it's not only a good battery, but that the cable is connected properly before you ever put this back cover on. Because if you had a problem, that would save you having to take the cover back off. I would only caution you to be careful when you turn it over that you don't let the bottom of the laptop touch anything metal. Because without this protective base on it, uh, we're doing this on a foam top desk, so that'd be one option. Just don't put it on a metal desk. And then you could test the battery and the cable just to make sure that what you've replaced solves your problem. So once you've buttoned up all those screws, the process is over and that's it. That's it from Fred here at the Laptop Barn. Like our uh, YouTube and subscribe to us. We have tips and tricks coming out all the time. See ya.